Alright, so now I'm going to go over how to calculate the molecular formula of a compound using the empirical formula of that same compound. So, recall from the difference between molecular and empirical formulas that the molecular formula is always a whole number multiple of the empirical formula. So the way to express this using an equation, we can say that the molecular formula equals the empirical formula times n, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Well, since we're talking about the same compound here, um, it's also true that the molar mass of your compound in question is going to be a whole number multiple of your empirical formula molar mass as well. So I'm going to fill that in. So I'm going to fill in what I just said. So that means that the molar mass of your compound in question, whichever one you're trying to find the, the molecular formula for, That's going to be a whole number multiple of your empirical formula molar mass. So the empirical formula molar mass. So this equation is also true. Molar mass of the compound is equal to the empirical formula molar mass times n. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this equation and solve for n and that'll be enough to figure out what our empirical, or excuse me, what our molecular formula is. So to solve this equation for n, we're going to divide both sides by the empirical formula molar mass. And I'm going to be lazy and just change this equation around and say that n is equal to the molar mass of the compound divided by the empirical formula molar mass. So from there you can calculate n and thus your your um, molecular formula. So that means that all we need are the empirical formula and the molar mass of our compound and we can calculate the molecular formula. So let's do an example where we do that. So suppose I have a compound and I determine the empirical formula of that compound by experiment, and I found the, the uh, empirical formula, so I'm just going to label that EF. The empirical formula is equal to CH. So if the empirical formula is CH, then the molecular formula could be CH, it could be C2H2, it could be C3H3, it could be CH, C4H4, and it, it you know, etc. So the empirical formula is just CH, and the molar mass of this compound, I'm just going to label that as a capital M, the molar mass of the compound, so I'll just put sub C. M sub C turns out to be 78.11, and this is grams per mole. So we have the empirical formula we have the molar mass of our compound, so now we can calculate n, and then we can use n to determine the molecular formula. So remember that n is equal to the molar mass of your compound, so my capital M sub C over the empirical formula of molar mass, I'm just going to call that capital M sub EF. And at this point, all you have to do is just plug the respective values in, and you'll have your n. So for the molar mass of my compound, that's given. That's 78.11 grams per mole, so 78.11 grams per mole. And then the thing that I'm dividing this by is the empirical formula molar mass. To calculate the empirical formula molar mass, all we have to do is just look up carbon and hydrogen on the periodic table and then add one carbon, the mass of one carbon atom to one hydrogen atom. So if we do that, we'll end up getting 12.01 plus 1.008, and that sum is also going to be in grams per mole. And 
if we plug this into a calculator then we should get a whole number or close to it so it turns out if you carry out this calculation then you'll get that n is equal to 6 so my empirical formula is CH the molecular formula I'm just gonna call that MF that's gonna be equal to N which is 6 times CH or simply C6H6 so we just successfully calculated the molecular formula of our compound using its molar mass and its empirical formula which could have been determined by experiment or it could be given in a problem who knows so let's do one more alright so suppose our empirical formula is NH3 and suppose that the molar mass of this formula or excuse me of this compound that has this empirical formula NH3 suppose the molar mass of that is 33.77 grams per mole so to calculate N we take the molar mass of the compound which is 33.77 grams per mole that's given and then we have to divide that by the empirical formula molar mass so to get the empirical formula molar mass I'm going to take the molar mass of nitrogen which is 14.01 grams per mole and I'm going to multiply that by the one nitrogen that's in there and then I'm going to add to that the quantity of the molar mass of hydrogen which is 1.008 grams per mole and there are three hydrogens so I'll tack on my times three and then put this into a calculator it should give you a whole uh, once again it should give you a whole number or close to it and you end up getting the n is equal to two so the molecular formula then MF that's going to be n times our empirical formula so two times NH3 and we end up getting N2H6. So that is how you calculate the molecular formula of a compound. You must know its empirical formula somehow, and you must also know its molar mass somehow.